Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part 16 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 3, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's that time again when we begin another Musumo campaign. So, let's get started. Alright, I did say that I was going to do a character from the Wu Forces, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Now, when I, before I started this Let's Play, I was at, asking, like, who you would like to see. Of course, some of them, like, uh, were picked that weren't even unlocked yet. Now, there were some popular choices, and out of all of them, for the Wu Forces, the most popular was Zhou Yu. So, let's play as him. Alright, so this stage is actually very unique, because you cannot play this kind of map in free mode. There's two other maps like this, and it's actually random. Well, I don't think it's random, but you don't know who gets it until you actually play that map. So, Joyu gets the Mountain Bandit campaign. We have only one weapon, the Iron Sword, and the items. Well, we're going to go with the uh, Peacock Urn, obviously, the Tiger Amulet, Tortoise Amulet, the Wea Musu, and for my fifth item, why don't we go with the Red Hair, so that we can actually move around pretty fast. Bodyguards are obviously only going to be at two, because remember, the bodyguards are tied to the character, not the kingdom in any way. So, the objectives. The commander has to be defeated, as well as all lieutenant commanders. If Joe Yu is defeated, or all the peasants die, we lose. Plain and simple. And we only have 30 minutes to do this map. So, the units. Okay, we got Joe Yu, which is me. And we got five peasants. If all these peasants die, we lose. If we die, we lose. And then you got a lieutenant commander. Okay, this one actually has five morale, and the others have four. So let's look at the intro. In the midst of a long march, a small peaceful looking village can be seen off to the side. However, the villagers have suffered greatly from attacks by bandits. In answer to the pleas of the villagers, the battle to save the village is about to begin. Okay, so there's only like one line of dialogue. Well, in that case, Let's get started. What a wonderful place. Please help us. Bandits are destroying our village. Hmm. I have heard the details. Leave it to me. cannot forgive those who trouble innocent people! Alright, so we gotta take out these bandits right now. Otherwise, they will be a problem later. So, let's start with this one right here. Now, Joe Yu's uh, fourth charge is not that great for crowd control at all. But he has a good running attack. Like, when he's dashing, and he just smashes the square button, you can do, like, a really cool combo. Alright, so that's one lieutenant commander down. Why don't we go over here to this fence? Because if we go over there, you can actually snag an item. Hopefully it's an upgraded tiger amulet. But I don't think that'll happen on the uh, first level. Hopefully it will. But I'm not going to hold out any hope for it. Okay. My next target is actually across this bridge. Why? Because there's a weapon over there. And I would like to get a really good weapon. And it seems like there's also some bandits to deal with too. So why not flush them out? It doesn't appear that the peasants are in any immediate danger. But I'll keep my eyes out for them just in case. Alright, so we snag a weapon over here. I can get some health over here, too. But 
but obviously I have, haven't even taken much damage, if any. The good thing about the red hair is that while you're riding it into like a bunch of enemies, they can't really resist it as much. Oh, there's another Lieutenant Commander over here. So, uh, let's get rid of this Jabroni right now. Oh man, that would have been a really nice combo if that was the kill shot. That would have been a good for attack plus two. But obviously we'll have to make do. Okay, let's take out this uh, gate captain while we're at it. That'll stem the flow of troops. I mean, his fourth charge actually is pretty flashy. But that's all it's got going for it. It doesn't have the crowd control that most other fourth charges do. But I still like it. I mean, thanks to the tortoise amulet being this powerful, we're hardly taking damage at all. Let's take out this gate captain. It's running away. I don't like that. No, I gotta get back to my post. God. I don't want to be seen slacking off. Even if I'm more likely to die because of it. Okay, I'm gonna grab the health. Not for me, but for my bodyguards. Okay, I think the dim sum is around these houses. I don't know which one exactly. All I gotta do is well, look for a jar. Is it around here? I feel like it should be. Or maybe it's around here. No, I think that's where a help is. Alright, let's keep looking around. I feel like I missed something. Unless it's further left. Actually, this might be it right here. So let me go take out these jars. Nope, that's also health. Okay, fair enough. Let me go for these boxes. Oh, that's just another item. Well, that's fine. But I'm still unable to locate where the uh, dim sum is. It should be around here. Unless I grabbed it already. I don't think I did. No, oh, you know what? I see it right here. It was actually in this corner. No wonder I missed it. They hit it so well. Ah, there we go. Alright, so now let us go look for the Musu wine. But before we do that, why don't we snag another item? How are my peasants doing anyway? Three, three. Three, three. Okay. Lieutenant Commander's at four. Alright, so I better go grab this item to the upper left and then take out that bandit. Luckily, it's just right over here. And the Musu wine is actually just a little on the west. A little to the west? Like on the western part of the map. In fact, we should be able to see it by these houses. Around the fence, perhaps? Oh, like right here, actually, I think. Yay, we did it. Bodyguards are still putting in some work. I like that. That was actually a pretty cool combo. I'll give it that. Now we have to wait for the commander to appear. Oh, did it appear already? Oh, there's a commander. Didn't really get much fanfare for that one. But at least we should be able to defeat it now. It's pretty much all by itself. 
expect this video to be pretty short at this rate. Given that, well, we're pretty much going to obliterate these enemies. Fight me, you dare. Alright, you asked for it. I can push your horse around. I don't give any Fs whatsoever. Oh, I'm impressed. You actually got a little bit of damage on me. Okay, it's a little bit sturdy, but it doesn't stand a chance. Still gets knocked around like an absolute bitch. <laughs> Back to that one. Whoa! Okay. I have killed your leader. Now leave this village at once. Very easy victory for us, but I mean, we were just fighting mountain bandits and nothing else. Like, there was no playable characters to go against. It only took us like 7 minutes and 7 seconds. Now, because it was so easy, we didn't really have much opportunity to uh, grow our character, but that's okay. Alright, so we're gonna get like, uh, probably more iron swords gonna be much better than the one we have now. Now, do I want extra Musou or bow attack? I think we're gonna go with extra Musou. The items, did we get anything good? No, we did not. Okay. We were kind of close on the Tiger Amulet, I will admit. We got no points for our KOs whatsoever. Granted, because we only killed 10 enemies. The worthy opponent count actually went to 1300, despite only, only taking out clones of Lieutenant Commanders and then the Commander. Good enough for 2820 points still. That's not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. That could get us to class 14. And our bodyguards don't really do much at all in terms of growth, but eh, we'll make do. And there we go. I'm going to stop the video right here. And in the next episode, hopefully I'll get at least triple digit KOs in the next map. See you everybody. Thank you so much for watching.